truth is the unchangeable part of me. So for those of you who don't know me, this is Maria. I am a life relationship coach, an image stylist, an aviation specialist. Before you hear this recording, I would like you to pause it, take a piece of pen and paper, because today this session is going to be on a soul searching session that is searching your heart and searching your mind. And I want you to be true to yourself. Remember, no one is watching. It's just you. The question, is it true or real, has two answers. Yes and no. It is true if you believe it to be true. It is not true if you believe it isn't true. As you can say, the glass is both half full and half empty, depending on how you look at it. There are literally billions of thoughts we choose to think. Most of us choose to think the same kind of thoughts our parents used to think. But we don't have to continue with this. I'm sure you must have heard of this phrase, history repeats itself. That is a belief, a limiting belief, a thought pattern. There is no law written that says we can only think in one way, right? Whatever I choose to believe becomes true for me. Whatever you choose to believe becomes true for you. Our thoughts can be totally different. Our lives and experiences are totally different too. Now going into examining your thoughts. Whenever we believe something, do you know that comes true? If you have a sudden financial disaster, then on some level you may believe you are unworthy of being comfortable with money or you believe in burdens and debt. Or if you believe that nothing good ever lasts, maybe you believe that life is out to get you. Or as I often hear people say, I just can't win. I have tried so many times. I have failed. In a relationship, if you seem unable to attract a good relationship, maybe your belief and thought patterns tells you unconsciously, nobody loves me or I am unlovable. Perhaps you fear being dominated as your mother was or maybe you think people are out to just hurt you. What is your limiting belief? If you are going through some health issues Maybe your limiting belief and your thought pattern is illness runs in our family or it is hereditary or that you are a victim of the weather or perhaps it's I'm born to suffer. It's just one thing after another. Or you may have a different belief. Perhaps you're not even aware of your belief. Most people really aren't and this happens when I ask them questions during my personal coaching sessions. These are just the outer circumstances as being the way the cookie crumbles. Until someone can show you the connection between the outer experiences and the inner thoughts, you remain a victim in life. Whatever the problem is, it comes from a thought pattern and thought patterns can be changed. I have changed mine.
problem is are you willing to change that thought pattern it may feel true it may seem true all these problems we are wrestling with juggling with in our lives however no matter how difficult an issue we are dealing with it is only and only an outer result or the effect of our inner thought patterns you are what you think of i'm sure you must have heard this phrase you must have also heard this phrase our thoughts create our reality please take this seriously because your thoughts does create your reality you have to be mindful of what you think ask yourself what kind of thoughts am i having that is creating this problem in my life please write down this question and write down the thoughts that come to your mind if you allow yourself to sit quietly and ask these questions your inner intelligence will show you the answer is it true are your thoughts creating your reality are you going through some kind of a problem write it down and see what comes up change those thoughts to a positive thought pattern wishing you the very best and have a